I'm okay with it. Now we're overloading on fish. <laughs> So the people coming by by river or sea probably don't don't need fish. They probably don't need fish. I could have got some salt and done dried fish, but I don't, I'm not bothered. I don't really care. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, you see here. Um, Let's check out our new couple. Where are they at? Right here. Petro and Feina. They have seven dollarinos and four pennies. Their monthly income is nothing because they're both unemployed. She's now a laborer. Their monthly income's two. Land tax is a buck eighty. So unless he gets a job, he's gonna be they're gonna be hurting a little bit. Let's let's actually bump this up. On season four, off season two. We're gonna make the off season March, April, May, August, September, October. So when when the uh, farming season is around and harvesting season is around, they're gonna drop down to two people in the forestry. Otherwise they're gonna have four. So right now they just have the two. And let's see. Yeah, nobody's looking for work right now, so he must have gotten a job. He is at the forestry. And she is now unemployed again. <laughs> Can I adjust? Yeah, wage. Do a, a buck twenty or 120% of the normal wage for that. Because that if she's a general laborer and making two, right? Two whatevers a month. And he's doing the forestry, making a buck fifty a month. That seems a little bit off to me. We'll have Cherry in here. Only women. And we'll hire somebody in. So these are gonna take a couple years to grow, as you might expect. They're not they're not gonna be ready right away. And uh, Yeah, you just uh, you just have to wait. They'll They'll tend to everything. We have another messenger. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, slow the game down to one. These guys are back. <laughs> they really want to trade. They really want to trade, but uh, I got nothing for you, man. We're going to have to do the, uh, the regular trading post to get some more individuals coming in here. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and uh, put this guy like right here. Something like that. We'll go ahead and unpause our primary school as well. I don't know how this works because I've never built one, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, you'll see the forestry guys coming over here. They're going to have to chop, I think, this tree down right here. Oh, crap. We're. <laughs> Stay away. We're dangerously close to the trees again. So if it's stuttered there. Sorry, man, I forgot. I actually forgot for a second. Look at our look at our marketplace trees. They are they are popping up here. This would be a nice little secluded area to go hang out. That would be really cool. Oh, you know what I mentioned earlier? Uh, in a previous episode that we still have yet to do was was uh the uh, the cemetery. Let's go ahead and do that. I just basically want to fence in an area. I think we're going to do like right in the center of town here. Uh, not next to the school though, but I do want to fence in the school actually. Have a little area back here. For like a, a playground or something. So that basically, 
kids have a little area all to themselves. <clears throat> I don't know if that's even going to work, but it's going to, you know, I don't know if anybody can actually get back in, in there is what I mean by that. But um, look at our trees, man. Got our maple trees in here. We got our bushes behind them. Our cottonwood trees, these real big tall guys that are cool looking. I like that, man. I like that a lot. We have no iron left, so <laughs> so we're gonna have to worry about this. This takes a lot of resources, so it's good we have a lot of dudes in here working on wood. Um, we have four guys doing construction, which is nice. We have two guys here working on the wheat. All right, our granary. So now what we want to do, since these are full, we want to do apples, apricot and cherry. And even though they are uh, whatchamacallits, uh, orchards in our village that we're managing, you still have to do buy from local producers because basically that's just how it is. So we're not going to hire anybody there yet because we don't have any to put in there. So we're just going to we're just going to sit and wait until the first uh, bit of bit of uh, tree crop, fruiting tree crop comes in, and then um, then we'll hire somebody in, and then she can go buy, purchase some of that stuff. All right, so. These, these grew like three quarters, these about half, these close to half. So it's a little bit better. We had a few more people work in the fields. It's a little bit better now. Uh oh, family is lacking shoes. Oh no. Oh. Okay. So this brings us to our next big conversation, which, oh no. Okay. These guys are out of money. <laughs> Oh no. Is she really unemployed? At you should have grabbed one of these orchard jobs, lady. Should have. Should have, man. But she didn't. Get a Get some more housing in. Oh, it just won't snap. This one likely won't won't snap at all. Yeah. So we'll put in um, we'll put something in there, like a well, where these guys can come and get some water and maybe some trees in there eventually. I want to just keep getting more people because now we're going to have to start talking about production chains and creating things. Uh, for right now, we're going to have to purchase shoes, but uh, until this comes in, I don't think we're going to have any of that. So, hmm. We're going to empty this out. Because, uh, quite frankly... Those guys aren't buying buckwheat. The other place hasn't come, so I don't know what they want. If if somebody comes by and they do want it, we'll worry about that then. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, oh, are we harvesting? We are harvesting. Nice. We just need we need our trading post up that way we can uh we can trade with some other places that maybe we'll have some shoes, some clothes until we can start doing those ourselves. So 
To get shoes, it's not that hard, but you need several things. Uh, we're going to need um, a cow shed, a slaughterhouse, a tannery, which is here, and then the shoemaker's workshop. You need those four things for this production chain to get shoes. Very similar to how you have uh, the clothing, saddlery for uh, horsing, tailors, and, and weaver, um, things like that. But for the tannery, we also need some other things. For the tannery, we need lime. <laughs> so we need, uh, for that, we need some other stuff that we'll get to here shortly because we, uh, we have a visitor. What's the other place? Now they have lime, they have iron. Oh yes. We will take all of your iron. 360 buckaroos. Yes, we will. <laughs> and they have buckwheat. They do not want to buy buckwheat, unfortunately. But now we need a worker in here. So we'll make that happen. And yeah, the, the harvest is coming along here. Very nice. Stay away from the trees. Stay away. I have to remember. Stay away from the trees. <laughs> oh man, that sucks so bad. All right, we have we have uh, Yakiv Pudubini. Pudubini. That's fun to say. Pudubini. <laughs> I'm I, I'm probably slaughtering these names. Um, you know. Again, I, I'm not Ukrainian. I don't pretend to be. I don't know how to pronounce any of these names. And I apologize to any Ukrainian alive currently or that ever will be. Um, I just don't know how to say them. <laughs> no clue. Family's moving out. I bet it's the shoe people. Yeah, couldn't get enough shoes on the market. Yeah. You guys are hurting again for money. Why aren't you working at the farm, lady? That's your own damn fault. I'm, I, you can give them money. You can do financial help. I'll give five her, her even yes. But she's not even working at the farm. Now she is. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, dude, like, come on. Uh, let's see, what are they producing? Onions, carrots, peas, and it looks like raspberries as well. Maybe. Hopefully, at some point, they're gonna have enough excess to uh, to be able to. Um, to sell some of their their produce that'll help out their financial situation you see some of these earlier families that have moved that were here since the beginning they're loaded man <laughs> they're absolutely loaded it looks like we have a brand new couple that moved into that vacant lot Pablo and Olesia there we go <laughs> Perfect. Brand new couple. Both 18 years old. That's a, that's just right. Starting their new lives together in the village, which we still don't have a name for. Uh, I'm recording this right now. Um, obviously, right now I'm doing it. But uh, as in the morning that the first episode is scheduled to, to release... 7 p.m. today, it's going to come out, well, 7 p.m. several days ago, <laughs> uh, according to when you're going to have access to this one that I'm speaking in now. We're, we're doing some time traveling. It's, it's very confusing. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Did we get iron? Yes, we did. 
Alright, we no longer need you. Goodbye. <laughs> so we're good. Um, but now we need, uh, whatchamacallit, we need a a warehouse. I think we're going to put this guy over here. Uh, oh, trees. Sorry. I don't know if that actually did anything bad, but uh, we're going to say that it did, and, I, and I'm sorry. I'm going to put a warehouse out here. Right about here. And the good thing about warehouses is they don't need any kind of... I'm going to pause the school again. <laughs> they don't need any kind of worker like the granary does. because they don't, they don't have to buy anything. They're just stockpiles. So general laborers will go grab stuff and throw it in there based on your what you say can go in. But uh, they can only... See, like granaries can hold 10 different items... The warehouse can only store four things, four different types of whatever. So that's a problem. Oh, you guys again. Oh, I don't need any of your crap. Okay, this trading post is done now. So we're going to remove the manager from here. Maybe he'll work over here now. This is going to get us some... Um, um, many more trading options. So before we just have these guys and these guys. Now we're going to have... Marifa... Balakilia... And Derkachi... Coming in and they're going to say... Hey, I want to trade. You can actually send... You, know, you can send somebody there. But it costs you money... I'm not into that, so we're gonna put our buckwheat in here. We're gonna put a thousand in. Temporary stock. And um, let's see, what else do we have? Fish. Put a thousand fish in. We'll put two thousand fish in. <laughs> and we'll just leave that permanent unless nobody wants to buy it. Then we'll have to take it out. Now we have a manager in here. Basically what that means is if there's a manager in the, in the trading post or the trading dock, the other settlements can send somebody to you and they communicate with each other about what we have, what you have, what are you looking for, this and that. So that's how that works. That's why there's a manager in there. All right. So uh, the harvest is coming along nicely. Very pleased with that. We are. Uh, we still have a lot of wheat. We have a ton of flour. We could probably probably put a thousand flour in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now these guys don't have any clothes, so we need a we need a trading thing to come from the other cities now. <laughs> oh boy, we could send an envoy. We could send a trader there one of them and just hope that they have clothes but um, I think we're gonna have to start to think about animal husbandry because that's how you get hides for leather for clothes uh, with sheep we could do uh, make wool clothes and uh, I'm not really sure I can't remember I think it's hemp that you make the regular clothes out of, I believe. We need another farm with like three fields somewhere. We could rotate sunflowers and hemp and have one field fallow. Just like that. So maybe we start to plan for the future and do that. So let's get another farm planned out here. Let's Let's actually put it out here. And it will have three fields. Work on that as soon as that house is done building. Matter of fact, I want that to happen right now. Because we could we could 
potentially start that next uh, March. This is built. So I am looking forward to that. Anybody looking for work? No. <laughs> so unfortunately, this family is going to eventually just move out. Because they don't have any, any clothing. But that will allow a new family to move in, basically, that does have clothing and uh, it isn't as worried about it because they already have some. I don't like that that's happening. And it's happening sooner than I expected it to happen. It does, you know, I knew this was going to be an issue at some point down the line, but I didn't think it was going to be this fast. So, yeah. I don't know. That'd be fine. I mean, it, it is what it is. I was not prepared to handle this situation, and I don't see any traders coming in knocking at the door yet. And uh, maybe they will be soon with some clothes. We could put them on the market and have some ladies stand there and sell them. Shoes, which obviously is going to be an issue for more families soon. Uh, if one already moved out. All right, we had uh, we had some more uh, another good harvest season. A lot of potatoes, a lot of buckwheat, a lot of flour. It's a really good, really an excellent thing. Both resting, <laughs> which is fine. I I totally understand. I get it understand and that uh, somebody's looking for work so we'll go ahead and uh, somebody's still looking for work <laughs> go ahead and get them working on that farm because it needs to happen definitely needs to happen there's four forestry guys in here so they're not going to have any problem keeping up with the wood supply at all okay let's see if they have clothes no they do have cows and pigs, horses and sheep. No chickens, which I like. I like doing the chickens. Um, they have iron, but we don't need any of that now. Okay, they want potato flour. Let's sell them at that. Uh, what do we put in there? We put a thousand flour, two thousand fish, one thousand buckwheat. Probably put, yeah, we could put potatoes in there too. Just do a thousand, and we'll sell them a thousand potato for eighty somethings. Uh, we'll sell them a thousand flour for one hundred fifty something. That's much better. And uh, they want clothes. We have no clothes. <laughs> oh, we have honey. Boy, do we have honey. Okay, honey is going in here. We'll do 2,000 honey. All right. We'll see if they... Uh, if the laborers here can get all this stuff in there. I'm sure they'll get the potatoes because they're right there, but uh, we'll see if they get the honey. I don't know if they will. I don't know if they will. I've already bought it, so I'm not going to, you know. Okay, so they're getting the honey. We'll go ahead and... I'm curious... We really out of thatch? There's no way. Hello? <laughs> Are you doing things? Oh, we need a worker in here now. Yeah, we'll have uh, we'll have the honey by then as well. So, you want honey? We got honey. It's a deal. 
All right, here's the first uh, group of them. And this worker guy needs to put it all in their stuff. Hopefully he comes back very soon. <laughs> Taking a rest. No. So if he doesn't load it up, they're not going to pay us any money. Right? They're not going to get the stuff. So he needs to hurry. Hurry up, man. Go, go, go. <laughs> I don't think our farm's going to be done anywhere near time. Okay, he's loading them up with something. Load them up with, with stuff, with flour. Okay. Perfect. So, we're just going to keep buckwheat in there, I guess. We have tons of it. Yes, he's taking a rest. Oh, he's going to work. Okay, good. Get in there. Now he's loading up honey. Perfect. This is going to go on for a while because we just sold them a lot of crap. <laughs> yeah, see, there's another one. And the farming shall commence. We're going to bring this down to two dudes. All right. Now field one. Uh-oh. No plot for burial. Okay, so we better pause it here and uh, think about, once again, our cemetery that I keep pulling off, putting off and putting off. I think this might be a, a decent spot, just right in here. Yes, right next to the marketplace. <laughs> no. Um, maybe back here. So let's let's uh, get a small arch, first of all. Yeah, we'll put it right here. I guess right next to the school. We'll have something up here where, that it's not like, you know... No snapping. And we'll just kind of come back here. Yeah, that's not bad. That looks okay, right? So we'll put some more fencing in here to delineate that uh, there's a separation here. Another little arch. Trying to work out how this is going to look because I this I want this up here to be sort of like the the religious area and back here we can put some uh, some burial plots and we'll do that right now and as is typical older cemetery fashion the older plots are going to be in the far back the further back in you go the older the uh, the Plots are got a um, got one at the church I used to go to when I was a kid. My little hometown. Like I said, I grew up out in the middle of freaking nowhere. 
Uh, so there's old uh, Fedir. Fortunate for him, he is no longer here. <laughs> um, I don't know why that's funny, but I, I just I thought that was funny. Unfortunately for him, that is correct. Um. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> you can go back and see, you know, dates from the 1800s, or late 1800s, but it's still 18. I mean, it's it's crazy, but uh, you know, it's pretty wild to to go wandering around in there when I was a kid and see these names of people from so long ago. I couldn't even imagine what their life must have been like. It was probably similar similar to uh, to what we're looking at right now. If I had to wager. And uh, and the uh, Archipchuk family is still struggling for money. They're both working now. So if they can't figure it out, then they're just not going to make it. All right, we have some some planting going on. We're we're slowing down because we don't have enough people again. Something is is bad wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna um, fish. I mean, we have so many fish. I'm gonna bring this down. To just one guy, okay? One guy fishing all the time. Well, in the summertime, spring and summer, and that's it, you know, because we just need people. Uh, we're going to slow things down, and we're going to see if maybe we can get uh, these planned out here. Our flags here denoting where the houses are, okay. Uh, we just need three fields out here, and they don't have to be huge. Guess we'll make him huge anyway, even though I just said they don't have to be huge. We'll make him huge anyway. There we go. There's field number one. Come back here and do field number two. Hmm. I just make a small one out here. I don't know. Yeah, I think we'll just make a little small one out here to follow the uh, the coastline, maybe. Oh, well, it won't actually be that small. Yeah, that'd be pretty good sized, actually. I didn't think it was going to be that big. And one more. I'd like to put it right out here, but we'll have it'll take way too long to cut those trees down. I guess we don't need that one to be active right now. Just uh, put that here. That will be fine with me. There we go. So now they're going to have to chop 40 trees down. This is a long way away from our forestry building. But again, we don't need that one right away. Uh, we do need a manager. So we're going to do apply to all here and here. Now we, we need a manager. We can do the rotations. This will be hemp, this will be sunflower. <clears throat> we'll basically rotate those. Oh, times times whatever speed, times 12. We have another house. We have, we have plenty of jobs because we're farming right now. Oh, we're still working on, geez. Um, we're gonna make these active so they can start working on them. Yes, because they, they really want to work on that right now. <laughs> no manager to handle crop rotation. Okay. Well, 
Well, that sucks. I'm sure that when somebody moves in here... Is she unemployed? No. She works out here somewhere. You know, one of you guys can just be the manager. You get more money, and you don't have to do anything. It's perfect. There you go. There you go. See, she knows what's going on. I just had to let them know what's, what's up, you know? Wow, tons of people all of a sudden working at the farm. I like it. We have a new family that moved in as well. I bet that's four of them. <laughs> oh, actually, that's six people right there that can work on the farm. All right, we have a, we have a uh, messenger from Mirifa. Came all the way around the bend here. They have chickens. They have hemp. Hmm. They have warm clothes. So let's buy like 50 warm clothes. And see here. You don't want regular fish? Come on, man. Want a lot of flour. We probably don't have a ton of flour. We do have buckwheat for days, so we're gonna sell them some buckwheat. <laughs> Check out our economy as well. Oh yeah, we're making money now. Mostly due to our exports. So if we subtract 430, we're still making money. Which is, That means we're in the green if nothing else is happening. Alright, what else do we have in here? We don't have the flour to sell anymore. We want to keep that for our own supply now. Just not enough. Okay, that's fine. We're good. I think we're okay now. And these guys are... They don't like that they don't have very much... Different types of food. Do I want this second generation family to stay here or do I not care? Because they'll eventually move out because of this. I can give them some financial help. And they'll go out and immediately spend all of it. <laughs> Now they have some flour. They have some raspberries and some flour. They can make a, a pie. Raspberry pie. These guys are done. These guys are planting. Oh, yes. This field is... You know, it is what it is. It'll be fine. This one's going to be... Um, fallow... Uh, Hemp and sunflower in that order down here. That's basically that's what that one's gonna be. Keep everything rotating, you know, we have both every year basically. Uh these guys don't have clothes. Do we have any in here now? Not yet, but we will. So I think we're gonna start up a clothing merchant. Put them right here. So, clothes, shoes, <laughs> warm clothes, and that's it. So, as soon as there is somebody to do that, or as soon as we have those come in, which should be pretty soon, they will just go grab them and sell them to people. That'll be good. Uh, to be honest, this field is not going to be done for a couple seasons, a couple years, I would say, because they have to go so far to go get those trees. See, they're coming all the way over here. They chop a tree down. They take, like, usually they give, uh, oh, crap, I'm, I'm right on top of the trees. No! Hopefully it wasn't too bad. Uh, sorry. But they, they basically 
chop down one tree, it gives you two logs. They'll drag one log back, they'll come back and get another log. Alright, did we get them? Yeah, we got uh, warm clothes already and they're already sold out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they're already sold out? Who's buying them? Ever Dude, this one person bought all those clothes? Stefan, nine years old, bro, live. Wow, he bought all the clothes. Holy crap. I guess we need more than 50, don't we? I thought 50 would be plenty for our entire settlement, <laughs> but apparently not. Apparently, you need like, you know, one family needs 50 pairs of clothes. I guess so, you know? I guess so. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here for this couple of episodes. Basically, I'm doing a block of two at a time, record for about an hour or so, and uh, then we go into the editing and, and chop it in half, basically. Uh, so I, I definitely want to thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that you're spending your time here with me, some of your free time, it, it, your valuable free time. I very much appreciate it. I want you to know that I appreciate that very much. Uh, if you like the video, if you like the game, you want to see more of it, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. That is an at-a-glance way that I can see that people are interested in a particular video game and, and basically that I'm not just wasting my time <laughs> uh, putting all this effort into creating a video series that nobody really wants to see. So uh, that would be very, very helpful. If you did like it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, that is an absolutely free way to support uh, any of your favorite uh, video creators. Um, don't have to spend a dime, and it helps out tremendously. And of course, let me know what you think about the game in the comments and, uh, and, and what you perhaps would like to see change about the game or improve and perhaps uh, where you want the village to go next. And we're looking for a village name, so uh, go ahead and suggest that if you haven't already in a previous episode. And hey, you know what? I hope you have a great one. We'll see you next time. Messenger time!